What's up, buddy? You made it. Another day. One more done. You should be proud of yourself. You really should. I'm proud of you. I know you got a lot going on. I know you got a lot of shit on your shoulders. You got a lot of shit on your chest. Don't stop. You can't quit now. You come too far, man. Your heart's a warrior. You're stronger than you think. You made it through all them other bad days. And I know these days, they all blend together. Yesterday feels like today, and tomorrow's gonna feel like yesterday. It's kinda just the way it goes. There's only one thing you can do. You gotta change tomorrow. You gotta be better than you were today. And don't forget, your future you needs you. Your past you doesn't. You'll be alright. I know you will. You always are. Make sure you come back. It's difficult for a dude in my spot to receive love. Because uh, you, you don't feel like you deserve it. Most men, most men will only experience unconditional love from their mothers. And some of us don't even get that. Most of us have never even felt appreciation or respect without conditions or hidden intentions. We don't know what it sounds like to hear, I see you and I'm proud of you. I'm glad you're here. You really make a difference. Many people say you're their hero, but who's your hero? Who's my hero? All right. That's a great question. Well, I think my dad is my hero because he's someone that I look up to every day. And, uh, Who do you call when you are at your lowest? Who is that one person? Nobody. I'm a man. No one cares. Not a single soul. Nobody. No one. Because I'm all alone. I think I speak for um, a lot of people when I say that um, I, I don't call anyone. Nobody. I'm a guy. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Speaking for the guys when I say this, literally no one. <laughs> Do y'all call someone? Nobody. Just nobody. No, no one's talking to no one. Who cares? No. no one. I'm a man. No one cares. No one. Not a single fucking person. I wouldn't call anyone. I wouldn't turn to a single person on this earth because they don't care. They will just find a way to use it against me. Is it any wonder why men's mental health is in crisis? Yes, because as soon as um, a man opens up to a woman and tells them like their deepest, darkest secrets, women tend to use that against men. And I don't know why. I'm a woman and I don't know why. Every day that you wake up, remember someone else did not. You are alive for a reason. Men's suicide is at an all-time high, and it's not falling. And when we're talking about suicide, we have to remember there's also secondhand suicide, and many men will do it that way because men naturally have a lot of pride. We're in a society where we're not taking responsibility for what we are doing to men. We are working them to death. We are taking children away from them. They're, if a female slaps a man, we won't even put it down in statistics. If he calls the police and says, well, she hit me. Okay. And? We are failing them as a society. We are failing them in politics, feminism. We can keep going. Mental health services. Where there's hardly any non-profits out there for men. And the ones that are, oh, I know plenty of them, they're amazing, but they're overworked. There are people like me on social media that are doing this and we are overworked. We get thousands of emails that we can barely even keep up on. These men deserve more. And they deserve to be hurt. You have to remember if a man ever said any of this, what I'm saying on my TikTok, he would be absolutely ridiculed. You, all females out there, you would ruin his life for saying anything that I am saying. And that just shows how far the feminist movement has gone and how screwed up society is these days.
So I know this is a different kind of video than what you guys are used to, supporters of this channel are used to, but I just wanted to make this video to point out that majority of men are not appreciated, majority of men are not loved, majority of men are considered like second class citizens and as you've seen from a couple of clips in this particular video, it's not only the average Joe, even celebrities go through the same thing. And as much as men, we focus on our purpose, we focus on our ambitions, we focus on getting into the gym, being physically healthy, we should also focus on our mental health. Majority of men are not genuinely happy. 77% of suicides are committed by men. Men are depressed. And all I wanted to say is, gentlemen, focus on yourself. I mean, do something that makes you happy. Go out there and buy yourself something. Do something for you, for yourself. Majority of men, we just, we, we just do things for other people. They take, 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 no give. So at the end of the day, focus on yourself, focus on your mental health, focus on getting into the gym, be at peace with yourself, and help yourself before you can help other people. And if you see your fellow guy or man struggling, come on, just help them, assist them, because as men, we'll, we, are, we have a lot of pride and we have a lot of egos. We will not talk about our feelings and we'd rather die with our feelings before we share. But as men, we don't complain, we don't cry, we don't fuss about it. We just work on it as men, because that's what we do. We don't complain, we move ahead, because that's what, that's what makes a man. You don't complain, you just find your, your problem and fix it. So thanks for the support, thanks for watching um, this channel and for liking the video and subscribing to the channel and hopefully I can get to do more of these videos. Bro, my wife did it again. Yesterday I got back from work so tired, exhausted, and my wife and I had a couple things to do. By the time we were done with everything, it was like 9 o'clock and I'm like, babe, I'm really tired, can we just go and lay in bed for a little bit? And she's like, yeah, of course. I was so tired that I ended up knocking out and waking up to my alarm to go to work today. And I woke up thinking that I was going to be late because I have to get everything ready, my uniform, my lunch. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine. When I walk into the kitchen, everything is ready. Everything. This woman woke up in the middle of the night to cook me a meal, get everything ready, put it neatly where I would see it, and go back to bed next to me so I wouldn't wake up alone. I damn near shed a tear this morning, I'm not going to lie. I went to give her a kiss in bed and say goodbye. And she does what she always does. She gets out of bed to make sure that I leave the house fine. And I'm like, babe, when did you get up to do this? Why? I, I could have just gotten something. And she's like, I felt bad. I didn't want you to be out there hungry. I swear to you, man, every day my heart melts a little bit more and a little bit more for her. And now as a husband, I understand what Proverbs 18.22 says. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I had known favor and I had known blessings, but man, never to the degree that my wife has blessed me. If you're on the fence debating whether or not marrying someone is worth it, giving everything else up to be with one person, let me be the one to tell you that it is. Because I promise you, not once has my wife ever made me regret marrying her. And that is a lot to say. And I'll say it once and I'll say it again, please, never settle. And so I'm at her parents' house, like in, in an extra bedroom, having lost everything. And the, my one Hail Mary play of this launch, the money did not come through. And I was like, I, I think you should leave me. Um, I, I think I am a, a sinking ship right now. And I would respect you if you want to walk away. And um, she pulled my chin towards her and she was like, I would sleep with you under a bridge if it came to that. She just, she believed it. And I think that's what most guys true. Get this through your f***ing heads, guys. Women don't need you. That is why they behave the way that they do, where they don't give a f*** about you. So you need to find a girl that does want you so that you get good treatment. A lot of you I've said this a million times, I'm going to say it one more time, because one of you is watch, I got to remind you guys, okay? A lot of you guys watching the show right now are with a girl that doesn't suck, doesn't cook for you, doesn't clean for you, doesn't give a fuck about you, but your dumb ass is sitting there tolerating her bad behavior because you're scared to get back out there in the sexual marketplace and go find a girl that will.
Men seem to be the silent victims continually overshadowed or dismissed due to gender insignificance and I perceive that International Men's Day held on the 19th of November each year attracts far less attention or importance than its gender counterpart. For example, according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the Australian male life expectancy is four years shorter than that of Australian females. Men make up more than three quarters of deaths by suicide, yet surveys show that only 25% of men would seek help with experiencing personal or emotional problems. The study highlights that around 25% of Australian men experience a diagnosed mental health disorder in their lifetime, with 15% in any 12 months. Concerningly, 80% of adult men that participated in the study experienced depression, anxiety or suicidality in the past 12 months, yet only 40% of those men contacted a mental health professional. They face multiple hurdles including cost, wait times, stigma and fear of perceived weakness by others. Men and boys need to know that speaking up is a sign of strength, not weakness. According to media reports, men are our silent victims. Our culture assumes domestic violence is predominantly committed by men, yet data reveals that a high number of women can also be abusers. Even if men find the courage to speak up, they are less likely to be believed. Remember one thing, through every dark night, there's a bright day after that. So no matter how hard it gets, stick your chest out, keep your head up, and handle it.